In this video, I'm gonna share five effective home remedies to treat eczema, a skin condition in which you have dry patches, redness, and itching. If that's something you're struggling with, then keep watching. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Sidra, a pharmacist who's passionate about health, pharmacy, and beauty. And if that's something you're interested in, then subscribe to my channel and I'm sure you're gonna love it. All right, so let's talk about eczema. Eczema is also known as atopic dermatitis. It's a condition that makes your skin red, uh, flaky, and itchy. And this condition could be due to both genetic and environmental triggers. It could be as simple as just excess dryness of skin, or it could be as severe as your skin actually cracking and bleeding. So before I dive into my tips on healing eczema, I wanna make a quick disclaimer that eczema can be really bad. It's a serious condition which should be treated by dermatologists, but I get asked questions from my patients at pharmacy all the time, and I know some people don't have access to dermatologists, and there are people who search eczema remedies on YouTube. So to make it easier for you guys, I put together five pharmacist recommended tips to heal eczema. So without any further delay, let's talk about tip number one. <laughs> So if you do have eczema, one thing is very clear, your skin lacks moisture barrier. Guys, skin is the largest organ of your body and it has natural oils that help condition it and create a seal on the top of the skin to make sure your skin stays healthy. But when you've broken the moisture barrier, it means the skin is essentially wounded and this can actually lead to skin inflammation, irritation and redness. Basically, the broken moisture barrier means your skin is not producing enough oils and it is dehydrated. So choosing the right moisturizer can literally help in the prevention of eczema flare and actually can help treat it. And the best eczema creams and lotions are thicker in consistency, they are oil-based, and as far as the ingredients, you wanna look for a hydration locking ingredient like hyaluronic acid and a glycerine. Also, you want skin protective ingredients like ceramides, uh, petrolatum, or oatmeal. And of course, there are some ingredients that you want to avoid like um, fragrances, uh, retinol, exfoliating agents, which could be your glycolic acid, lactic acid, and salicylic acid. So absolutely avoid these ingredients because they can dry your skin and that can further exacerbate the condition. So I've been recommending my patients with eczema to use Aveeno eczema therapy. CeraVe and La Roche-Posay moisturizers are also good ones. So you can pick any one of those. They're all drugstore. You can find it at Walgreens, CVS, whatever store you prefer. And if you are looking for a more natural solution, use coconut oil. Coconut oil is the best. I ingest it, I put it on my skin. It's like an all-in-one conditioner for your body and your skin because it's not only a natural moisturizer, but it also has antibacterial properties. And that's an added benefit because with eczema, the inflamed patches of the skin may crack and ooze, and that can allow bacteria to enter into the skin. So coconut oil will, like I said, not only moisturize your skin, but it can also act as a protective barrier barrier against bacterial infection on the skin. Just make sure apply coconut oil onto your damp skin to lock in that moisture and choose a virgin or cold pressed coconut oil because that's not processed and is free of chemicals. One thing I want to point out here is with eczema, we don't have a cure, meaning we don't have something that's going to stop or cure the itching or just the dry skin. But what we do have is different remedies to control the symptoms and prevent the flare up. So that's why I have compiled my these five tips as these are going to actually control the flare up of your eczema. With that being said, let's talk about tip number two. My tip number two for you is to wash your eczema skin with apple cider vinegar. And here's why I say so. It's going to help balance the skin's acidity, and apple cider vinegar is highly acidic. 
The skin naturally is acidic, but people with eczema have lesser acid compared to a healthy skin. So this lesser acid is kind of going to decrease their defense system. So applying diluted apple cider vinegar can actually uh, help balance that skin's acidity levels. But remember I said diluted apple cider vinegar because concentrated one can actually burn your skin. Uh, I recommend adding a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in one cup of warm water. Uh, you can actually soak cotton or gauze and put it over the eczema rash. You can cover it with a bandage or just a piece of cloth and leave it on for three hours then wash it off and apply moisturizer right away. All right, moving on. My tip number three is to use a gentle, well, not only gentle, but also fragrance-free soap and detergent. See, many body washes and cleansers contain detergent because that kind of help create that soapy leather. And such detergents or other leathering agents can actually dry out the skin. So try using a gentle, no leather and fragrance-free cleanser. Also avoid products with rough particles for scrubbing or exfoliating as they can also uh, further irritate your skin. And when I say to avoid fragrance, that not only means fragrance in your skincare products, but also your hair care products because they run down on your face and body when you're showering, so you wanna be careful. Um, also avoid the fragrance in your uh, laundry detergent See, a lot of these detergents and fabric softeners are loaded with fragrance and I know they add freshness to your clothing, which I like it, there's nothing wrong in that. But see, your skin is constantly in contact with that clothing and if you have eczema, your skin is already sensitive. So this harsh fragrance in your clothing is going to uh, irritate your skin and trigger eczema. <laughs> Fourth recommendation for you guys is to use a colloidal oatmeal. You can add that to your bath or you can use it as a paste on your skin. Colloidal oatmeal is basically made from finely grounded oats. It helps calm and soften the inflamed skin. It prevents the water loss from your skin's top layer. It also acts as a moisturizer and a gentle exfoliant for your skin. The colloidal oatmeal is actually available in a cream or powder form. Uh, if you are gonna use cream, you simply apply it on your skin and if you prefer the powder form, you can add that powder to uh, lukewarm water uh, and soak in for about 10 to 15 minutes. After you bath, you pat dry your skin and apply a thick layer of hypoallergenic moisturizer that has high oil content because you wanna do anything and everything to lock in that moisture of the skin. My last tip to help control your eczema is to stop scratching your skin. I know if you have eczema, you may be thinking I'm crazy because it's just so hard not to scratch or rub your skin because eczema is such an itchy skin condition and the urge to scratch in such condition is just unbearable. So when people tell you not to scratch, it's like the most infuriating thing to hear. But bear with me on this because it's important. See, when you scratch your skin, you're gonna bring more inflammation into your skin and that actually leads to the worsening of eczema. You're basically now entering into an itch and scratch cycle which just goes on and on and on. So my tip to deal with it is to apply a moisturizer or just honey on your eczema skin. Honey is a natural antibacterial and anti-inflammatory agent and people have used it to heal wounds for centuries. Also honey boosts your immune system and leaves it soft and soothing. So the next time you have the urge to itch, just dab a little bit of honey onto your skin and it will not only soothe your skin, but it will also kind of form a physical barrier for you. And now that you have honey on your uh, skin, you don't want to stick in your fingers and get your fingers all sticky and yuck. All right, so these were some of my tips to control eczema. The bottom line is most eczema comes and goes over time. Atopic dermatitis is usually worst in childhood and it 
kind of improves as you age but if your eczema is severe or does not respond to your home treatments it may be a good idea to see a doctor because a doctor may prescribe steroid creams or just some other prescription medications to treat the inflamed condition of your skin i hope this video was helpful for anyone who's struggling with eczema please like this video and share to spread the word and help others in need and finally, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on more awesome content on health, pharmacy, and beauty. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!